Booyah! If I have to crack some skulls, I will. <laughs> oh, am I too violent for you, Cupcake? Hi gang, Private Jack here. Today's tutorial, we're going to talk about model hierarchy and how it affects things in Source Filmmaker. What am I talking about when I say or, uh, file hierarchy? Uh, what I'm talking about is adding custom content to Source Filmmaker and why models that you're looking for might have disappeared. It all boils down to the way that Source Filmmaker actually is told what directories are in it. So basically I come in here and what you see here is I have a whole lot of custom content added to my Source Filmmaker. And the reason why I put stuff up here is simply due to the fact that it's easier to find it. and if I have a problem with a model um, I can I know where to go looking for it. Anyway, if I come down here and go into my user mod the way I tell user mod about these folders is through the game info text file. And this is the actual hierarchy of where Source Filmmaker looks for files. You'll see here Heavy Bear, Catwoman, uh, Fem Scout, Fem Engineer, that kind of thing all appear before I actually list TF. And the reason why I do that is because these particular models use skins and model names that are already known to Source Filmmaker in TF. For example, the Fem Scout is normally called Scout. Uh, Heavy Bear is called Heavy. Uh, the Female Engineer is called Engineer. And basically, what happens is their player models actually take priority over the player models that are in the TF directory. Coming back into uh, the folder, what I'll show you here is for the Fem Scout, you'll notice that all her player um, skins are called the same thing that her counterpart in TF is. If I come down here and go into my materials now and find my models player and look at the scout. These are the female scout and this is the scout. Notice how the names are all the same. Okay, so if I come into Source Filmmaker and I load a model, I'm going to create a new animation set for a new model, and I come down here and I type Scout, what I'll find is that my Fem Scout comes in right there, and my TF model of the Scout. is invisible. The reason being is because of the way I've outlined the hierarchy of files in my game info text file, I'm telling it to use the skins for the Fem Scout before it uses the skins for the TF Scout. Now, how does that affect me in Source Filmmaker? Basically what happens is if I want to have both scouts in the same shot, what I have to do is I have to use the female scout for my player models, and then, here she is, and then what I do is I create an animation set for a new model, and I look for the uh, HWM model of the scout. 
this is how I can have both scouts in the same shot. If the male scout was just a player model, I wouldn't be able to bring him in. So another example of this, I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to bring in Heavy Bear. Create an animation set for a new model. Heavy. And basically, I'm going to go down here to Heavy Bear. And see, he's using the same name as my player uh, Heavy in TF. So if I add him and I go looking in TF for the Heavy, Again, not only does his character disappear, but uh, his, uh, his skins disappear, but the whole character disappears because Source Filmmaker has already read that Heavy exists in a different folder. So, if I want to have Heavy Bear and I want to have the Heavy in the same shot, like I did in my uh, Battling the Inner Beast, I have to grab the HWM model of the Heavy And backing off in the motion editor, I put him over top of the other guy. There he is. So one is the player model, one is the HWM model. Female engineer, same thing. Whoops, don't need a light. I need a model. Female engineer, because of the hierarchy, I told it that uh, the female engineer takes priority over the player model. If I want to have the engineer in. I now have to go and I have to find the HWM model of the engineer. And there he is. Now, if you overwrite a player model and you don't have an HWM model for that character, then you're not going to be able to bring them both into the same scene unless you actually go through, decompile one of them, rename all the textures, rename everything, change the VTF files, change the, uh, the file names of the VTF files, and change the uh, file locations and names in the VTM or VMT files, that's the only way you're going to be able to get the two characters together if they're both player models. Well, I hope this tutorial has been some use to people and it explains where their models are disappearing to and how to get uh, the two characters into the same scene together. If you have any questions or uh, want to see any other type of tutorials, just leave me a note in the channel. With that, Private Jack out. This is my intelligence, and that is how you do it, men. Now that is what I want to see. You've done me proud, boys. Hey, not like... oh. ah! Dismissed!